We've got Holmes' first ever domestic final coming up today. I've even got my kit on. I've had a look to see what kit we're going to wear. This is the one we're wearing at Wembley for the League Cup final against Manchester United. I'm fully kitted out. I know we don't stand much of a chance of winning our first major trophy, but goodness me, imagine, imagine, imagine what if. Hello and welcome to part 127 of It's Coming Home. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have that League Cup final at Wembley against Manchester United. Then we're straight back into the Premier League for a game against Burnley. Since you were last with me, form has turned around. Uh, we had that horrible run of form that we talked about in yesterday's video which looked like we were certs for relegation but everything's turned around with that 5-0 win against Oxford in the FA Cup. We've gone on a little bit of run in the, a run in the Premier League if we pretend Spurs don't exist which is... I mean, that's, that's doable. Um, we've, got, we've had a nice little run in the Premier League, but we've also had our run to the final of the, Euro, of the not the Europa League, we're not there yet, of the League Cup. We're also into the quarter-final of the FA Cup. That's going to be tomorrow's video. An FA Cup quarter-final against Huddersfield. What I would consider a winnable FA Cup quarter-final and potentially booking a second spot at Wembley for the season. This is what the Premier League looks like. Um if it ever loads up. Um, so we've got, uh, we're in 14th place, 30 points after 27 matches, a game in hand on the teams above us, nine points clear of relegation with, what, 11 games to go. Things are looking good. Um, that's why we lost to Tottenham. And you've all been asking long enough. Let's have a look at Kevin Williamson, the striker who scores all of the goals for Tottenham. Um, he's got a quite ridiculous, 43 goals from 36 games last year, came through the Tottenham youth system, 192 games in 273 games, and they are his attributes. They look quite good, don't they? Um, that's Kevin Williamson, 67 goals in 83 games for England. He's all right, isn't he? In the set, that means Dean Morris is on for a Premier League win. Is he still playing regularly? Of course he is. Of course he is. 30 years old now. We need him. We need to keep an eye on the end of this contract. End of next year, he's going to be 31, turning 32 that summer. That might be the time that we might, especially if we can get into Europe this season or maybe next season, we might just be able to bring Dean Morris home. We've got to bring him home before the end of his career. But playing for a title-winning Tottenham team on £175,000 a week is still kind of outside of our price range just yet. But we're not worried about Dean Morris today. Today is all about the League Cup, the big one, the competition that everybody always wants to win. And this is the team that we're putting out there to try and do exactly that. I mean, realistically, we're, we're trying not to get embarrassed. It's Manchester United. We're probably going to lose. But we are. there's always that little glimmer of hope that they might look at home and think, you know what, we're only playing home. It's only the League Cup. Let's put a rotated team out and then we might just get an upset. Um, oh, actually, I've just noticed... We probably should show you the transfers we did. There was a little bit of business that went on in January. Um, loans le leaving the club. Lerick Fernandez left on loan. Goran Svejic left on loan. Walter Ardin left on loan. Oliver Gregson left on loan. Um, we did sign one player permanently, which was Vicente Rafael Botello, who's another young striker with potential. 19-year-old Spanish under-19 international. Two-star current ability. Four-and-a-half-star potential ability. Not ready to be in the team yet, but... For just over half a million pounds, he's a handy player to have around for the future. So another one building for the future. Um, and then, as you'll see, as you saw there, we kind of lost our backup on both fullback positions. So we brought two new fullbacks in. Um, Amir Pagano um, is a 26-year-old former Italian under-21 international left back on loan from Schalke until the end of the season. He's as good at left back as Sanz is, which means we can finally start playing Sanz as a centre back, which is nice. So he's come in, and then we've got, just got a backup right back in. This was a bit of a an emergency. Oliver Gregson wanted to leave because he hadn't been getting in the team. I couldn't promise him football with Riviera around, so we've let Gregson go and brought in an equivalent quality right back for the rest of the season on loan from Brentford. Anthony Wells Askew, only two and a half star ability. Um, he's not anywhere near as good as Riviera. He's unlikely to start unless Riviera gets injured. But Brentford let us have him on loan for the year. So, or oh, for the rest of the year. So it seemed like a pretty of a straight, straight swap. An unhappy Gregson for a uh, glad to be back in the Premier League. Wells Askew seemed to make sense to me. So this is the team for the League Cup final. Horvat in goal. 
A back four of new boy Pagano, Van der Horst and Sands playing at centre-back now, where he's been playing pretty much since Pagano arrived. Riviera at right back, Harrison at the base of the midfield. The big call of the day is playing Carl Bishop, despite the fact he's got a knock, but it's the League Cup final and he's been such an important player. There was an argument we could put Torres in. Torres offers a very different kind of midfielder to Bishop. Torres is going to be much more direct, much more running, um, a lot more energy, but Bishop... I think this is a game where we need Bishop just to knock those balls over the top for Adrio and Kano to chase onto. So Bishop plays despite being injured. Um, Samuel alongside him and then Mano, Manu in behind the aforementioned, aforementioned Kano and Adrio. We have a very Spanish feel to this team. Are these all Spanish? He's Spanish. I'm pretty sure these two are Spanish. Adrio, Spanish. Um, this is. I spent too long in, at Sevilla in non-lead to legend. I can only sign Spanish players now, apparently. I mean, they're the, they're the three. But is Sands Spanish? Spanish. Lots of Spanish players. Let's go play the League Cup final against Manchester United. Wearing our third choice kit. I don't know why we're wearing the third choice kit. I mean, it is a very stylish, snazzy kit. Uh, don't know why we're wearing it. The, uh, the home kit would have been absolutely fine against Manchester United's red. But apparently we're going to wear our third choice kit for undisclosed reasons. Let's get into the match and just cross everything. Cross everything, boys and girls. This is our first ever major final. It's um, I don't think we've won anything at all since the FA Trophy 12 seasons ago. Um, every promotion we've had since has been via the back door. We've not won. In fact, I think we might have won the National League North the next season, 2022. I did look this stuff up. But we've not won a trophy for 11 years now. It's time to add something to the trophy cabinet. Um, we've got nothing to lose. We know how good we are. Let's, no. The fans have been fantastic. We know. I think we've got to do that. We know we're the underdogs. Go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Exactly. It's We're just happy to be here. We're back at Wembley. And Man United are playing a relatively negative-looking system. Just the one striker. Uh, we're so far in the future now. I don't know if that's a first-choice team or a team that contains any kind of rotation. But... We're not worried about them. We just need to play our game, do our best. Uh, we have had some good results against big teams. We beat, I think we beat Manchester City 3-0 in the league. So we have got big performances against big teams in us. I mean, Manchester City, for sure, we've got their number. We did the double over them last year. We beat them again recently. If this was Man City, I'd be feeling confident. But we have we drew against Manchester United in the league like a couple of months ago. Back when they were top of the table, we managed to grind out a draw against them. So there's there's hope. There's always a little bit of hope. But, you know, they've been here, done that. They know how to win trophies. We're experiencing all this for the first time. We're just here to learn. If we lose today, it's fine. We'll we'll get more opportunities in the future. But it's it's just nice to have a nice little day out at Wembley in the League Cup final. February in Wembley. What a what nicer place to be at such a lovely time of the year. Cross comes in, Sam's head's clear, but Bishop can't quite get there in midfield. Cross comes over again, Riviere misses it. United are putting us under some pressure here. We need to get the ball clear. Bishop makes the tackle and Harrison lumps it up towards Adrio. We've got a counter-attack on here. Adrio plays it across to Kano. Manu's in the middle. Kano finds Manu and scores right on the stroke of half-time. Manu gets his seventh goal of the season. It's a lovely breakaway move. The three Spanish players we identified before all combining. A lot of credit has to go to Bishop for the tackle as well and Harrison for the pass that released Adrio in the first place. But the pass from Adrio to Kano was perfect. The run of Manu was brilliant. And we're 1-0 up against Manchester United at half-time in the League Cup final. And our three Spanish youngsters combined brilliantly for that goal. Oh, I'm delighted. I'm utterly delighted with how that first half has gone. It couldn't have gone any better. Um, we're the underdog. Yeah, we just got to keep. Go we are the underdogs. Just keep going with underdog instruction. Hopefully, I mean, look at that. We've had two clear cut chances, one half chance. They've only had two shots in the game so far. We have been the better team, other than the fact they've had lots of possession. But I guess that's how you expect a home Manchester United game to be. They are going to have all the possession. We just have to hit them with incisive breakaways, and that's what we've been doing. We just need to keep it up and hope they don't score. Um, but they are coming at us again here. So we now need someone to get the foot in, make the tackle and start the next breakaway before they can grab a goal. Oh, it's a lovely save from Horvat there. And what a challenge from... Was that Pagano, the new boy? We want to win this. Goodness me, do we want to win it. 80,000 people here at Wembley. 
35,000 of them are home fans. We have 35,000 home fans who've turned up at Wembley for this League Cup final. My word, where have they all come from? Nick Wilson has just come on from Man United. If you remember back to the transfer special, he's he's the one that got away. We had a deal arranged to bring Nick Wilson in for like £30 million, but we decided against it in the end and he ended up going to Manchester United. I, I hope it doesn't come back to bite us. Right, Bishop... Doesn't actually seem to be struggling fitness-wise, so I'm going to take Samuel off and bring Torres on and get that running on in midfield. Now's the time to get some running into that midfield, stretch the defence a little bit. Um, and I also I want to get Sir Anthony Harris on. Or Matondo. Who, does they, who do they recommend I bring on? They don't. We've got Traore as well. I mean, Traore... I want Anthony Harris on. In these circumstances, I want the man who wants it most. And surely... Nobody wants this more than Sir Anthony Harris. I know there'll have been a lot of call for Sir Mick Powell to be on the bench. There's no room for sentimentality in games like this, he says, having just brought Anthony Harris on. And Horvat, that's terrible. That is awful from Horvat. I think we've just thrown it away through another example of terrible goalkeeping. We've got to replace him in the summer. But it's, like I said in yesterday's video, it's easier said than done because we can't find anybody better than him who's willing to come to us who's in our price range. But he's done that so many times this season. It's ridiculous. Right, now we get Anthony Harris on, who is going to want this more than anybody has ever wanted anything ever. Pagano plays it into Kano. Kano beats his man, finds Riviere. Harris is in the middle, finds Kano. We've done an instant reply. Kano's got his, his 12th goal of the season. That was stunning. That is straight from the kickoff. We've gone and gone 2 1 up again. I mean, this is this is passion. This is desire and determination from home. I've never seen a team so motivated to try and win the League Cup, even if we don't come away with a trophy today. Goodness me, have we done ourselves proud. This has been a sensational performance. Harrison with the corner now. Finds Sir Anthony Harris. Vanderhorst. Bishop picks it up. Torres now. He's got men in the middle, try, try, can't find any of them. Um, I'm losing the ability to speak. I'm so excited about how well we're playing. Pagano now, ball over the top, trying to find Kano, doesn't quite get there. And United look to build again from the back. And this is one of those worryingly long highlights. that It's probably going to end with another United goal. Ball over the top from them. Can Pagano get across to cover? He can't really, but he does. He does slow the move down a little bit. But United keep hold of it, continue to build. And we just need to get hold of the ball and do another one of these counter-attacks. They hit the crossbar and the highlight ends. That was a weird highlight. In fact, no, it's picked up again immediately. Horvat finds Riviere from the goal kick, who plays it into Manu. Manu's got space to run into and men ahead of him. Slots it through to Kano. Kano scores! Oh, my word. What a move. Manu and Kano have been absolutely outstanding today. We knew Manu was going to be good when we signed him a year and a half ago. But today is the day at Wembley that Manu has arrived as a proper, absolute superstar. What a pass from Manu. What a finish from Kano. And with 15 minutes to go at Wembley in the League Cup final, we are two goals ahead and we can taste a trophy. We can taste European football. Do we make another change? I don't know that we should. Riviere's shattered, but we don't have a right back on the bench. I don't want to change the attack any more than I already have. We don't have another midfielder. We're just going to keep things as they are. These players, let's praise them and hope that fires them up. Ten minutes to go. And I know people are screaming at me to go more defensive. Bring Tom Noble on. Go to five at the back. Oh! And maybe I should have done. Maybe the praise was a little too soon. Ten minutes to go. And now United are back in it. Oh, it'll be sickening if it ends like this. But I still stand by, even if we don't end up with a trophy today, my word, have we done ourselves proud at Wembley. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the result is from here, but we really want to win. But it doesn't matter. Right, we've fired everybody up. Now do we bring Noble on? I think with five minutes to go, now is the time to get Noble onto the pitch. And I think I'm going to take off Kano. I can't take off Kano. He's played too well. Bishop is shattered. We're going to take off Bishop, bring on Tom Noble. And just drop everybody back a little bit. 
and we want Sands in the middle because he's the covering centre back. And drop to cautious. I mean that feels that feels like a mistake. That's never worked before. But just for just for five minutes. Do I go tighten up? Let's tighten up. Come on, lads. Surely. Surely. I can't even comment. We've won the League Cup. We've won a major trophy. Next season, home football club are going to be playing in Europe. And we've won a trophy. League Cup winners 2033, I think it is. What a proud moment for this football club. Passionately, I am proud. Every single one of you are heroes. And Sir Anthony Harris, who made his debut for us, what, 14 years ago? In the, I don't even remember the name of the league now. Northern Premier League Division 1 East is now going to be playing for us in the Europa League next season. Goodness gracious me. That is nuts. Kano was brilliant. What a performance from Kano. We're in the Europa League. Oh my word, we are in the Europa League. Now we need to... Oh, I can't believe that. Surely Kano gets on the... He should be on here somewhere after that performance. And Manu. But perhaps not, it seems. But Sir Anthony Harris, if we have a look at his biography... Um, the two winners' medals Sir Anthony Harris has collected during his career are the League Cup in 2033 and 13 years previously the Northern Premier League Division 1 East. You find me another footballer in the history of the universe who has two, two medals, those two medals, at the same club in the same career. Now let's go and play in the Premier League and hopefully we don't ruin it. Just the one change for the Burnley game then. Um, we've brought Noble back in for uh, van der Horst. Just really a, a change in the interest of fitness and rotation. Um, I know it seems mad when we're still trying to survive in the Premier League, but we've got three very good, very similar quality centre-backs now. And when one of them drops down to 92%, in fact, both of them have dropped down fairly low, let's get the fitter one in. And then we'll probably, in the next game, which I think is three days away, do Noble and Vanderhorst and give Sands a rest and just rotate the three of them around a little bit just to try and maintain some fitness. There was an argument to play Torres ahead of Bishop again, um, just like there was for the final. Uh, but Bishop's fitness is slowly recovering whilst playing and I think he's such an important part of the team that I just have to keep him in there while he's playing so well everything is going through Bishop at the moment um, although perhaps not so much in the last game but certainly in the run of games that I had been playing before that final everything was going through Bishop right calmly um, recent form standings have them 14th while we're 5th let's show them why no forget that let's owe Burnley after the last game Always look for revenge. See, now Burnley are playing in a red kit and this time we can wear our green shirts. Why couldn't we wear the green shirts at Wembley when playing against a team in a red kit? I don't understand. Right, Sands. Why is Sands still taking throws now he's playing as a centre-back? That's something we need to fix quite quickly because he's massively out of position now. And But Manu comes back to make the challenge and Riviere collects it all back up again. We need to... You can tell I've, saw, I've moved this around because I was streaming last night. Um, which if you did, oh, what a goal from Kano. What a goal. Kano is having a good day. Um, 14th goal of the season from him. It's absolutely stunning. I'll get back to plugging my Twitch in a minute because we need to have a look at this. It's another lovely pass from Manu. And Kano, that is outstanding. 1 0 to home, less than five minutes on the clock. What I was trying to say is the, the screen was all kerfuffled because I was streaming last night. Um, where I'm managing Bronby at the moment as part of this season's Expedition of Gold. If you didn't get a chance to check out the stream as it was happening, the replay is still there at twitch.tv slash FM, so you can watch the replay whenever you want to watch the replay. I think Twitch keep them up there for 90 days. I'm sure someone will let me know down in the comments if it's short or longer than that. But twitch.tv slash FM. We are starting our Expedition of Gold in, Gold in Denmark with Bromby. They were the first team to offer me a job. And uh, we'll see where things end up. We'll be streaming again later in the week. I'm not sure exactly when just yet. But I will be sure to let you know when I'm going to be streaming. Usually in that day's video is my plan. 
but obviously if I get ahead on the videos, the plan might not work. So follow me on Twitter and then you'll know exactly when I'm going to be streaming. But we're 1-0 up at half time against Burnley. What does that do to the league table? Because this is one of our games in hand. I've actually pushed out to two games in hand at the moment. Um, yeah, don't get complacent. Let's have a look at that league table. So with a game in hand, that puts us up to 13th place, 11 points clear of Millwall. Starting to feel a lot safer. A couple more wins and we hit that 40 point mark and we can properly relax and know that we're going to have Premier League football again next year. Because what we don't want to be is one of those rare teams. And I think Millwall, who are there, are one of the ones who've done it in the past. One of those rare teams who qualify for the Europa League and get relegated in the same season and have to play European football and Championship football at the same time which is just asking for trouble because you already play an extra eight games in the season in the Championship anyway. Add Europa League football into that as well, the Europa League group stages, and you're playing 60 games over the course of the season. And you need a big squad at a time when everyone wants to leave and you're operating on a smaller budget. It causes problems. Right, Pagano's not playing particularly well, so I'm going to bring Turner on, stick Sands back out to left back and give Turner a little bit of game time in the middle. Um, Adrio also not playing well, so we can bring Traore on for him and give Traore a little bit of game time. Two players who missed out at Wembley, just in the interest of keeping the rotation going. In fact, Bishop is tiring, so let's get Bishop off as well. We've got Torres there, easy change to make. Different kind of player, but Torres, Torres definitely, more than anyone, should feel hard done by for not being in this team because he always performs well when he's there. I just don't really have a spot for him in the system that we play. He doesn't really fit. So, yeah, I guess he probably does feel a little bit hard done by. He, I mean, he can play right back. He could potentially force his way into the team there, but Riviere's having a cracking season. Um, and we have another league win, which is just splendid stuff. Starting to feel a lot more secure in our Premier League future now. Still with a game in hand. If we win the game in hand, we go up to 12th. And then I think we're, we're pretty much there at that point. So tomorrow's video definitely has to incorporate the FA Cup quarterfinal against Huddersfield. In fact, there you go, Millwall is going to be a massive game as well. So tomorrow it's going to be Huddersfield in the FA Cup, Millwall in what will hopefully be a game where if we haven't already done it, we secure our Premier League survival. And then we just see what happens to the rest of the year, whether it's going to be the run in from hell with Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea, or if we're actually more interested in the continuation of an FA Cup run, which would be a nice way to end what has already been a phenomenal season. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.